This video will show you how to use AutoDuck in Audacity to allow you to merge music with voice audio, yet still allow the voice to be clearly heard and understood. One of the definitions in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary of the word duck, spelled D-U-C-K, when used as a verb, is as follows. To lower the head or body suddenly. End of quote. Autoduck will automatically lower or you could say, duck, the volume of the music during the voice sections of the voice track, which allows the loudness of the voice to overpower the loudness of the music in order to provide a pleasing, continued background flow of music, with the listener still being able to hear and understand voice audio when merged with music. This is the Audacity manual available online at the URL shown in this browser window. And it gives an explanation of AutoDuck. I'll just read the explanation here. AutoDuck reduces, ducks, the volume of one or more selected tracks whenever the volume of a single unselected control track placed underneath reaches a particular threshold level. The effect can be used to create voiceovers for podcast or DJ sets for automatic ramping of background music in radio productions and for turning down a voice in original language as soon as its translation kicks in. Here you'll see what auto duck looks like when you bring it up in Audacity. And we'll show you that in just a little bit. And it gives some steps how they suggest that you use auto duck and goes over the settings. Now the setting I primarily change that is different from the default setting is the duck amount. The default setting is at minus 12 dB, and I generally change that to about minus 8 dB to where the voice will be louder. And it depends on your actual audio that you're working with. Perhaps the minus 12 dB works just great. You might make it louder to minus 10 dB. But I'll briefly read these. And again, if you want to read all of this in detail, just simply go to this URL in the browser window right here. And you could read the explanation in the Audacity manual. And I'll read this information that it has about these four settings. Duck amount. The amount, default minus 12 dB of volume reduction in the selected track when a signal above the threshold level is detected. Maximum pause. Avoids over rapid volume changes by setting a length of time following the ramp down that must be exceeded before the volume is ramped up again. The default value is one second, but irrespective of the setting, volume will not ramp up unless the pause is at least as long as a fade down length plus the fade up length. Fade down lengths. The length of time over which the selected tracks fade down to the duct volume. Default 0 0.5 seconds. Fade up lengths. 
the length of time over which the selected tracks fade up from the duct volume default 0 0.5 seconds. Now, back to Audacity. The primary instances where many people would use AutoDuck is for intro and outro for a podcast or audio in a video where you want the voice to be heard over music used for an intro or outro or any place in the audio where you mix music and voice tracks and you want the voice to be clearly heard and understood over the volume of the music. To edit video audio with Audacity, you can export the audio from your video editor, then import the exported audio into Audacity, and after editing the audio in Audacity, then import the edited audio back into your video editor. The following is five steps I use to add AutoDuck to allow voice to be heard over music in an intro to my podcast. Number one, import both the voice audio and music audio into Audacity. So we go File, Import, Audio. Here's my voice audio. Click on Voice. File, Import, Audio. Here's my music audio. So click on Music. So now we have the voice audio and the music audio imported into Audacity. And number two, be sure that your voice track is located under the music track. And I purposely place this force track above the music track so I'd be able to demonstrate how you can move the music track to the top. There are basically three ways that you can adjust these tracks up and down. One is to simply put your cursor here, hold down the left mouse button, drag it up, and you can also drag it back down. And another way you can move the track up is to use the audio track drop down menu, which is right here. Click here and find move track up. Here's one move track to top. We we'll just click on move track up. Now we have the music track on top where it has to be. And the other way is I'm going to move it back down so I can demonstrate the other way to do it. So here's the music track and the music track has to be on top and the voice track has to be underneath. So we use the shortcut shift plus M. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key and press the letter M, at which point I get this menu. And then we can just simply move track up. And there we have the music track on top where it is supposed to be. Step three, use the time shift tool to line up your voice where you want the auto duck to take place. 
Well, probably what you want to do is listen to the music and then you'll move this force track to whatever section of the music where you want the voice to be heard. So let's listen to this music track. I'll mute this where we can hear the music only. Click on play. Okay, let's say we want the voice to start about right here. I'm going to unmute and click on the time shift tool right here. And then that allows us to put our cursor on this track and move it wherever we want it. So we decided that we want the voice audio to start about right here. Now, after we've placed our voice audio where we want it to be heard in the music track, then to undo the time shift tool, we go up here to this selection tool and left click. Number four, make sure the entire music track is selected. And to select the entire track, you can do it in one of two ways. You can simply put your cursor here on the track, double click, and you'll notice that now the entire track is highlighted, meaning that it has been selected. Now I'm going to single click just to show you the other way. And the other way is to use the select button in the track control panel, here's the track control panel for this track. And here you'll see the select button. So I'm going to left click on the select button. And again, you'll see that the entire track is now highlighted, which means that the entire track has been selected. And step number five, auto duck, click on Effect, built in, auto duck, and it brings up auto duck. We'll drag it over here to where we can see our music track as well as our voice track. And to return your settings, if you might have changed them previously, simply click on Manage, Factory Presets defaults. And you'll see that the default setting for duck amount is minus 12 dB. For my purposes, I find that this is the only setting I find myself changing. But you can experiment with these other changes. And the other setting that people may change is the outer fade down length and the outer fade up length, but I find generally even these default settings work well, but if you want a little bit louder voice to be heard, you can set it in one of two ways. You can drag this bar and say if you find that minus 8 dB is a good setting, or you could change it down here either way. You can just put minus eight right here for duck amount so change it by dragging this bar here or simply entering the amount here minus eight so after that is done all you have to do is click ok now once i click ok you'll see that the audio waves are lowered in this section where the audio voice waves are, which basically makes the audio to be clearly understood 
and overpowering the music audio. Now let's click OK and see how the music audio went down. Let's just, just take a listen at this section right here. Welcome to Opportuno, Episode 1. Podcast is the new radio. Okay, just to be doing, let's edit, undo, auto duck, and this be how it would sound if you did not use auto duck. Welcome to Opportuno, Episode 1. Podcast is the new radio. Okay. Now, let's edit, redo, auto duck, and see the audio waves went down. Now we'll listen to the entire music track along with the voice audio. And you should be able to clearly understand and comprehend the voice audio as it will be louder than the music audio. So now I will play the entire music track, which will also play the entire voice track. <laughs> To Opportuno, Episode 1, Podcast is the New Radio. After you like the way the AutoDuck has adjusted the audio, you then export the audio, File, Export, Export as WAVE. I'm going to change this to 24-bit. And I'm going to name the file Edited Voice. And click Save. And you'll see a warning here. Your tracks will be mixed down and exported as one mono file. So that's what we want. We click OK. Click OK again. Now when we open up that file we just exported, which we named Edited Voice, We'll have in one file the voice edited in with the music. And let's just give this a listen. Opportuno, Episode 1, Podcast is the New Radio. The AutoDuck will work with both mono and stereo files. This example is using a mono file. Mono files are commonly used for podcasts, where stereo files are commonly used for video audio. You will find that this audio duck will make very easy work of merging voice tracks with music tracks. 
I hope you have gained something of value from watching this video. And thanks for watching. Please visit our website, optuno.org. That's spelled O P O R T U N O dot O R G for more items that may be of interest to you. Thank you.